Well, that was a good start to 2021, wasn't it? One week in and we were looking at scenes from a low-budget political thriller. I was all set to make a video about something, I don't know what, but instead I got distracted by the news. Of course, this channel isn't about America, it's about Germany, but people often use Germany, and specifically the Third Reich, as a standard they can use to compare extremist movements with. So I often end up commenting on this sort of thing. So there I was, faced with a choice. Should I ignore what just happened and make a video about, mm, I don't know, five reasons German shopping malls are awesome? Or do I make yet another video about Hitler? Not an easy decision to make. On the one hand, as easygoing as my current sponsor is, I don't think they would like to have their name repeatedly associated with the Nazis. On the other hand, people keep comparing this to the Reichstag fire of 1933, and I can't not say something about that. You'll have noticed that this video does not contain a reference to my sponsor. OK, then. No, this is not like the Reichstag fire. That fire occurred at a time when the Nazi power grab was almost complete, and all they needed was an excuse to justify suspending the last remaining vestiges of democracy. And the fire provided that excuse. What we saw in Washington a few days ago was very different. This was a mob incited by a president who was losing his grip on power, attempting to stage some kind of a coup. Or, to borrow a word from the Swiss German, a putsch. And if that makes you think of the Beer Hall Putsch of 1923, that's deliberate. I mean, of course, the details are different, but I think it's a much closer analogy. Basically, if you're looking at a timeline of the transition from democracy to totalitarianism, I think that America is closer to 1923 than it is to 1933. I may at some time do a video specifically about the 1923 putsch, but maybe not right now. But Basically, it happened when the Nazi party was a, a small group of anti-Semitic thugs causing trouble in Munich. Having failed to get the Bavarian government to support their cause, they decided to try to march on Berlin. They got as far as the other side of Munich, where they ran into the military, and that was that. Of course, the details are vastly different. In particular, the Republican Party is a well-established party in America and has had control of the White House for four years now. But I don't think that the Republican Party is the Nazi Party. I think that this new faction that started in the Republican Party might be. A few months after the Reichstag fire, Hitler gave a speech in which he outlined his method for transforming this little mob into a political force that could take over the government. It comes in two stages. First, you attract to your movement as many people as possible by saying things they want to hear and praising qualities like loyalty and patriotism, virtues that people want to feel that they themselves have. Then you do something outrageous, an attack on democracy. And this will attract to your movement people who feel that democracy is a bad idea. And this, by the way, is why my skin crawls every time I hear somebody say that America is not a democracy, it's a republic, as if it were not possible to be both. But it would also prompt those who want to try to defend democracy to act and to attack your movement. This plays into your hands. All those who are not fully committed to your cause will leave your movement, leaving behind the utterly devoted. And they are the people that you want. They are the ones who will stick with you no matter what happens. They are the ones who will provide the solid foundation that you need to build on. Oh, and no, Trump is not Hitler. Whatever you think of him, he's not going to be a threat in the future. Instead, look out for somebody younger, more intelligent, and still fanatically devoted to the movement that Trump inspired. In that speech, Hitler claimed that he'd started the process in 1919. 
and he had been patiently waiting for 14 years. Whatever happens next in the US, it's not over yet.